Yo, what is going on everybody? I know it's been a minute since you've seen a franchise episode. This is episode 7. Uh, my apologies, okay? I just, I've been busy and I've had like other content to come out with. So a couple things we gotta talk about real quick. Let's just sum it up. Um, I tried to record the video and it glitched out. So here we are, part 2. Our scenario, we have to get Jalen Waddle 150 yards. Okay, so that's that. And upgraded a couple of like backups and stuff. And uh, last episode was insane. Obviously, you see we had a three-point dub against the Bucks. And I have a new series in mind. Courageous Cunningham. It's going to be like a Road to Glory series on Ultimate Team. So if you're interested in seeing something like that, let me know down in the comments. And uh, I can definitely make that happen. So we're going up against the Jaguars. They're an 80 overall. But we can't underestimate them, okay? I'm not going to lie. So let's just go ahead and get into the game. Wow, he just got popped. That tight end is wide open. Oh my god, he's Avian Howard delivering blows. Oh, holy crap. Dude, we are literally lighting up this Jaguars team, dude. And we stuff him. Oh my gosh, you're throwing dimes out of here, Trevor Lawrence. Jeez. 150 yards is going to be quite difficult. We just have to get 40 yards a quarter with him. So Jalen Waddle is definitely going to be the main target for today. And we get the, we get to stop. We, and one of their players is injured. Looks like their tight end is kind of uh, going through it with his elbow. Maybe he hit his funny bone. Come on. We're going to try to hit the gap with Devin White. And we can't. You know what? Byron Jones tried jumping on the ball, but he jarred it loose. So that's all I really care about. Let's go. Maybe Baker can get in there for the stop. And Byron Jones with another deflection. Let's go. They're going to try to go for this field goal. This is a tough one. This is going to be a 57-yarder. We're going to see if we can actually get this for the return, maybe. It's kind of funny how their kicker is number 12. Are they going to get that? They're not. Wow, they missed it completely. Let's go. We're going to move Waddle in a bit. It doesn't. Um, I need one of you guys to come back or something. And I don't even know what just happened right there. Oh my god, that was terrible. Wait, come on, dude. First play of the game interception. I'm, t I'm terrible. That was just a bad read by me, though, to be honest. And his running back gets a gain of one. James Robinson, having do he, he had an all right game last week. All right, let's see what we can do here. They're going to run it. And Jerome Baker makes the stop. Fourth and goal. Let's go, guys. Well, if they miss it, then I don't even know. I don't even know if they, if they miss this one. Okay, so we're down 3 0. It's not the worst score. We just kind of have to start making smarter reads and get this dub. And I do want your guys' opinion on this. Uh, uh, on a Road to Glory series, with 99 overall Randall Cunningham being the, the player that we do it with, would you guys be interested in that? If you are, let me know down below. I think it'd be a very uh, interesting series. So. So, so let me know in the comment section. And it's nothing good. Actually, Jalen Waddle's going to be wide open. We get, the, we get the rat catch. Can we hit a juke? No, we cannot. But let's go. We get a gain of 32. I do like how this how our offense is playing. And again, on an out route, Jalen Waddle beats coverage and gets a solid gain of 12. As long as we get 40 yards a quarter, we're doing, we're doing good as long as, we get, as long as we do that. I'm honestly looking to hit Jusicki right here for real. We hit Jusicki, he's open. Can he beat a man? He gets down for a 15-yard gain, though. Solid, solid yards. Let's go. Well, Jusicki's on an out route still, and Waddle has a crosser route. And we're going to hit Waddle on the crosser route, and he's going to get the secure catch for a 9-yard touchdown. Let's go. And, dude, a playmaker sets them up right, dude. Zone coverage was not the move right there. Oh, uh, that was rough. I don't know, dude. This offensive line for the Jaguars honestly ain't even bad. Let's see if we can shoot up this gap. Oh, it looks like they're going to be doing a jet sweep type play. To run up the middle, but, but Jerome Baker and our other rookie is right there for the stop. Just to reckon with in the future because he's in the AFC as well. We try to shoot the gap with Devin White. And James Robinson literally just throws us to the ground, man. Luckily, we have another man there to stop him. It's third and short. And he just throws it away. It's going to be fourth and one. And it looks like they're going to go for this, actually. So we're just going to kind of make sure we play smart. I don't know where my linebacker is. 
So we're just going to use our Holland, one of our other rookies. And we use her in with Holland. Let's go. Down. Okay, it actually made it a touchback, which is nice. But we just got a killer user lurk with our rookie safety. Let's go, dude. Let's go. So I don't. Oh, actually, Jasicki's wide open for a big gain. Let's go. Gain a 28, man. Let's, let's, let's get Bub had the sets. We only need about 8 yards to hit that 40 for the quarter mark. We're going to roll out. Waddle's wide open. And he makes the catch. 41-yard touchdown, Jalen Waddle. Let's go, man. And what is that? I don't even know if that's a sack or not. Because it looked like he may have gotten over the line. Not exactly sure. No, that's definitely a sack. Second and 13. Let's go. Is this a jet sweep play? They, we, we make the right read. He goes straight to the running back. And we just got people there for it, man. If we could just get the right blocks, this can work out very well. If we get the right blocks, let's go. We're going to call our one timeout. We're on the 43. What a gain. And then like just run out of bounds real quick. Or hit Jasicki across. We're going to roll out. This linebacker's coming for us. This linebacker's coming for us. I believe that's in bounds right there. I believe that was that was in bounds, but I don't know if he got tackled out of bounds or if it's going to make the... Okay, cool, cool. We get the time. Let's go. We have time to kick a field goal, and we're going to be up by 14 points at halftime. We were down 3 nothing, and we just, I don't know, like our team just came to play. 17 unanswered points. Let's go. We're just going to kind of run the ball just a decent bit to start, you know, getting some clock ran out and stuff. We break it to the outside and actually end up getting a first down and some for 14 yards. Let's go. We still need 16 yards with Waddle, but the way that this game's going, this should be doable since it's only the third quarter. Waddle's not even on the field. Never mind. We're going to look to hit this Jasicki on this corner route. I don't think Tyree can burn him off the edge. And Jasicki, perfect, perfect route for, I believe, 22 yards. He was having a pretty decent game, man. Let's see if we can hit Waddle on this out route. He's great at running out routes. Like I said, he's great at running out routes. We're going to no huddle that, actually, because I'm liking how that play went. Maybe we can hit it again unless the Jags pick up on it, which they don't. We get another one, and I believe that's it. I believe that's the 150 that we need. How much, does he, how much more does he need, man? We're going to run a drag route because it, it, it looked as if he needed some more. We got some pressure. If he can pick up on that block, which he does. Can he get a stiff arm? Let's go. 22-yard touchdown. Jalen Waddle is having an insane game right now. One of the best rookies in the NFL for sure, dude. Like, this dude's probably, he has to get offensive rookie of the year. This dude is having an insane season on an undefeated Dolphin squad. No way. And Trevor Lawrence is now breaking down. He can't even throw an accurate pass. He hasn't made a pass in five straight throws don't even know what route he's running he actually burns us but they go to the short route man if lawrence would have just looked a little bit farther he would have seen that this tight end actually cooked me right there we're gonna run man but we're just gonna play up and we're gonna blitz with devin white actually we're gonna run around the line and try to get in there and we don't but he throws it straight to us and we we get the pick but it does not end up being in bounds so Looks like we're forcing a punt, man. Okay, Chase Edmonds. 23-yard <laughs> run, dude. Jesus. Chase Edmonds breaking out again. Nice stiff arm. And he breaks out for one. And he hits a juke. Wow, a 19-yard gain. Chase Edmonds is actually averaging literally over 10 yards a carry, which is insane. You know, we don't do that a lot. We're not really the biggest runners, but we're just running down the Jags' throats right now. Dude, Jesus. We get the right blocks, and uh, we kind of just get stuck into a defender. Because I honestly don't trust the running game right now. And we're looking to just hit a, that quick out route to Jasicki. Even though it's covered, we're gonna hit num we're gonna hit Y. Is that Cedric Wilson? It is easy, easy six yard touchdown, Cedric Wilson. And that does it. The end of the game. I think this is a career high in rushing yards we've had 
like all season, which is kind of sad to say because Chase Edmonds only had 94 yards, but he had 7.8 average yards per carry, which is pretty nice. Miles Gaskin even getting 21 yards, so we did get 100, 100 total or over 100 total as a team, managing to get 115. As for passing wise, Tua with 135 rating, 15 for 20, 260 yards, 75 percent completion, four touchdowns, which so is one pick. Trevor Lawrence had an all right game. He just kind of got some garbage stats at the end, couldn't really do much. Uh, you know, to end off the game. But Jalen Waddle getting the 150 he needs, as well as three touchdowns. The hat trick, man. And 10 receptions. Dude was balling out. Mike Jasicki even getting four for 80. And uh, Cedric Wilson getting a clutch six yard touchdown. Tyreek Hill didn't get no play this game, but it is what it is. Jerome Baker getting three tackles for losses on seven tackles. Devin White even getting a tackle for loss on five tackles. Javon Holland got the clutch user pick by us. Uh, didn't get no forced fumbles. Had a couple deflections from Byron Jones, our, our you know, Keon Crossan, and Eric Rowe. We just had an overall stellar game by the defense. We only got one sack, though, Christian Wilkins. He's actually like an underrated beast for this team, though, not going to lie. He'd been, he'd been making a lot of plays. So that's it for the end of the game. If you do enjoy these uh, episodes of the franchise, just hit that like button down below. And again... Let me know if you want to see a series on the road to glory with Courageous Cunningham. I would love to do it, so I, but, I, but I don't want to do something that you guys aren't interested in. So just let me know down in the comments. 6-0 and o we advanced to, which is absolutely insane. I did not think we would be able to do that with this Dolphins squad. And we've had some very close games. That Dolphins game, or excuse me, the Bills game and the Bucks game we had were very, very close. And uh, so I, I honestly, like we could very well be 4-2 and two right now, but we're still... Are we the only undefeated team? It looks like we are the only undefeated team. Minnesota took a loss, and the Steelers did take a loss. Titans took a loss. There's a lot of 4-1 teams. There's the Colts, the Panthers, the Broncos, the Steelers, the Vikings, the Titans. A lot of 4-1 teams, and we've managed to stick through and go undefeated. So next week, we're going to just advance the week. We face the Atlanta Falcons. You know, obviously they're not the best franchise in the NFL, but they're, again, they're a team to look out for because they have some stars on their team. So we're going to go. Ogbert gets an upgrade. Our, uh, you know, Javon Holland, our rookie, gets an upgrade. And Jalen Waddle, our rookie as well, gets an upgrade, which is clutch. So the team is now an 83 overall with an 85 defense and an 83 offense. And uh, we get another offensive breakout, it looks like. Oh, yeah, it's, it's just us praising Jalen Waddle, so that's nice. Throw three-plus touchdowns against the Falcons for a passing game boost. All righty, well, we'll make sure to do that next week. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys do enjoy. Hit that like button down below, and if you enjoyed it a lot, make sure to hit the subscribe button too. It's free, and most of the guys that watch my channel are not subscribed. It's literally like a 94 to 6% ratio. So, anyways, guys, my name is Nolan Roberts, your boy, Only Drex, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.